I was the best offensive basketball player in the world. That's the way I looked at it. Better than anybody that played the game. When he was making his mark in Kentucky in 1956, Jerry West was coming out of West Virginia and Oscar Robertson was coming out of Indiana and Kelly Coleman was considered the best talent of the three. He was a coal miner's son with a voracious appetite. The numbers of cheeseburgers consumed, the rounds of beer and whiskey drunk, are still matters of heated debate around the state of Kentucky. He was a wild man. Freddie Maggard and Shep and all of them played in the All-Star games, and they were going somewhere to play, and uh, Kelly had a, like a 38 or 45 uh, in his belt, and they were stopped to go to the bathroom, and he goes over and shoots and kills this guy's cow. And uh, they get in their car and go on over to Pike. But it was his appetite for scoring points on the basketball court that made King Kelly Coleman the most mythologized high school boy legend in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Pearl Combs, and over here at Old Town in Hyman. He says, uh, Kelly won't get uh, any more than 25 points against us. <laughs> of course, I'm just off the top of my head joking. I says, which quarter? And sure enough, at halftime, I had 39. I think I got 60 some that game on him. By the time the 1956 state tournament rolled around, Adolph Rupp was calling Coleman the greatest high school player who ever lived. Before he played in the state tournament here in Lexington in 56, they dropped leaflets from airplanes saying, the king's coming to town. You know, with that kind of hype, who can live up to it? But he did live up to it. The flyers and the articles, people resented that. You know, and they didn't like me and they booed me. Not many 17-year-olds went through that. It was tough, believe me. While the booing may have been painful, it sure didn't hurt his shooting. He had 50 in the first game. But in the semifinals, he was stopped by a Car Creek sophomore named Jim Calhoun. Kelly was a, he was a, he was a great player, and he could fill it up. But you know what? I stopped his butt. I stopped his butt. Before the consolation game, Coleman told Lexington sports writer Billy Thompson I'm gonna go out there and show the crowd how to score points. And then Billy, you tell him for me to drop dead. He scored 68 points, still a state record, and skipped the award ceremony. I wouldn't have given him that uh, satisfaction of me being there. We went to a bar and sat there with a couple of those big shoopers of beer, and drinking those down, watching it on uh, television. <laughs> I told them then if they wanted to see me play again, they'd have to come to Morgantown, West Virginia. He never did attend West Virginia. The Mountaineers were put on probation for their recruiting efforts regarding Coleman. He went on to a successful career at Kentucky Wesleyan, but later floundered in the pros. The partying had gotten the better of him. A lot of the things that happened to me uh, after you know, high school is basically my own fault. You know, the things that I didn't do, that I should have done, and um, it just the way I was. It was my attitude. Kelly blames and forgives himself for his forsaken opportunities. And he's also forgiven Kentucky for turning on him at the top of his game. He has a home in Wayland. Like Kelly, the time of its life was nearly 50 years ago. Coal went bust, people moved on not even a high school in town, lost to consolidation. There's not much to Waylon anymore, but it will always have the legend of King Kelly Coleman. The right-hander, good. Coleman is very accurate at the free throw lane as well as from the field. Here's the next one. It comes right off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound by full chance to Coleman. He shoots and calls for taking steps. Robertson hands over to Kirkwood. Kirkwood to Robertson to Fugit. Fugit a one-hand jump from out front. Good. 20-footer. <laughs> Kelly Coleman right in front with it. Into the circle. Free throw lane jump shot. Good. Jumping. Billy Combs along with Fugit. Here's the tip over to Kelly Coleman. And it's not, but he picks it up. And hands over to teammate Elman Hall. There is Hall going in for a one-hander. No good for Whalen. The rebound's taken by Smith for Erlington. Smith. 
Makes a bad pass. Robinson picks it up for Whalen. Passes to Kelly Coleman. Coleman, here he goes for the bucket. Driving, shooting. Good. Let's see if it counts. Score till, still tied. Here's the shot. No good. Off to the right. But Robinson, Kelly Coleman gets the rebound. And brings it down court. Into the circle. A one-hand jump shot. Good. What do you think of that? Huh? Are you happy? <laughs> the Sweet 16 MVP, Demetrius Green, is only a sophomore and newest member of the Kentucky Schoolboy Legend Society, joining the likes of Wesley Unseld, Richie Farmer, and King Kelly Coleman. The times are different, but the sounds of celebration are the same and the Lexington Catholic community will soak up this victory with pride, just like the little mountain towns that won Kentucky State Championships back when. The trophy's a little bigger, the pomp and circumstance back at the school gym a little grander, the medals a little heavier, but all that's just a modern day turn on an age old truth. When you start out as a five-year-old young man, and you're taught that you train to win the state championship, to be the best, the best in the state of Kentucky. The community met us at the Breathitt County, Perry County line. And here we go, and the fire trucks and the, our champions have arrived. It's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to be a champion. Five days after he told his story, Jim Calhoun died of a heart attack. His family and teammates will always remember the way he regarded the world with a wink, the way he took pride in the Car Creek community, and the day he stopped King Kelly Coleman. Years ago, in the mountains, they grew up playing together all year long for want of anything else to do. 
The Lexington Catholic kids played together all year long because that's all they wanted to do. In this age of instant access to unlimited options, it's so much out there for kids to do. Some people say basketball just isn't as important as it once was. None of them live in Kentucky. <laughs>